As a volunteer with New Zealand Sea Lion Trust, Hannah Yeardley is monitoring the sea lions where she lives, near the Otago Peninsula on the country's South Island. It's kind of like babysitting, you know, especially when, when, when they're pregnant or they have pups. You kind of make sure that someone's at least seen them or checked up on them during the day. <laughs> there he is, having a wee stretch. These pups are part of a new generation of sea lions that have returned to this coast after a long absence. Driven off the mainland over a century ago by hunting, New Zealand sea lions survived on sub-Antarctic islands until one day in 1993. A female from the Auckland Islands had a pup here on the mainland and she proceeded to have 11 pups. So essentially this one female was responsible for bringing back a population of sea lions to Otago. That pivotal sea lion was named Mum. She left behind a dynasty of sea lions that continues to thrive on this coast today. But they don't just stick to this coastline. They really push inland as far as they can and that usually puts them up against a road. You take care around those roads. And so actually one of the biggest threats are some of those modes of transport. The sea lions have returned to a very different coastline to the one they left over a hundred years ago. One with crowded beaches. Keeping them safe is the job of biodiversity ranger Jim Fife. Humans love to go to the beach at summer. Sea lions like to breed on the beaches at summer. The young sea lions are really curious and playful. They know that the surfers are there having fun as well and so they want to join in, they're, you know, social animals. Our advice is that you just don't interact with them, just ignore them and get on with what you're doing. Hello. Despite their recovery here, New Zealand sea lions are one of the world's rarest sea lion species, facing threats from disease and accidental capture in local fisheries. That makes protecting this burgeoning population even more important. And that's where local residents come in. Communities usually, once they start to learn about them, take a real interest and are, are really protective of the sea lions that are breeding in their communities. I'll squeeze through there, come on. People are just surprised to find these animals in their backyard. This year, 21 sea lion pups were born on the Otago Peninsula, Fife says. It's the highest number since they returned to these shores and will keep sea lion babysitters like Yeardley busy for years to come. It's very cool because you're going to get to see their wet faces again. Once you get to know them, sea lions do have personalities. It's just seeing them, enjoying them, while respecting their space, of course. That's the thing that I enjoy the most. Mm -hmm.